Another couple of weeks has flown by and it means that it is time to film a another learn with me video. So I want to take a break from electrical. I might go back to it. I might not. I really don't know. But I wanted to learn more about this new tool that I purchased the other day that I've been kind of using, kind of not using because I don't have the correct bit for it. And also because I'm afraid to, I do a lot of furniture assembly jobs and I don't want to drill through the entire MDF board or something because this has a lot more power. But I wanted to learn a little bit more about power drills in general, make sure I'm using it correctly, learn some tips. And so that is what I'm going to cover in today's video, in today's learn with me video. I have two. The one that I've been using for a while is the DeWalt drill driver. And this is the one where um, the motor's in here. That's why it's longer. And this is the brushless. I probably do it like this. Much longer. This is heavier. So this is, has more utility, I think. Um, but like I said, I don't have the correct bit for it. And so I have not been really using this. Drill driver, you can pretty much put any drill bit inside and these three prongs kind of tighten around it and then you're pretty much good to go. So if you have one of those drill bits that have a cylinder kind of bottom, but from experience I've realized I had a Ryobi cylinder kind of base drill bit and I realized it wasn't holding on enough. And I've also learned from um, watching one of the videos that I've tagged in the description down below, instead of tightening the drill bit like this you should hand tighten it and once it's you can't tighten anymore that's when it's tight because i have not been doing that i didn't know you have to do that i thought just doing it with the actual battery is enough and so it would get loose so i understand the settings here that you have from 1 to 15 how much uh, how deep it really drills into, dr um, drills the screw into like wood or something. And then the drill symbol option has doesn't have any of that resistance. But as far as the setting here, the one, first gear and the second gear, I have not been using the second one at all. So the first one is low speed more torque the second one is high speed less torque you can already kind of feel it it's much faster in the second speed and so if you're drilling holes the second speed is better according to i forgot who which channel specifically talked about this but anyway. with the impact i have not purchased the correct drill bit for it and so i just had this little thing that came in a i came in a screw as, um assortment where it doesn't have that little groove for the thing to catch on this is actually the milwaukee drill bit and this is actually for an impact and so here you stick it in and because of that groove in the middle it it stuck in there In order for you to take out the bit, you just pull this part forward and it just pops right out. So this groove is what signifies a impact bit and a regular drill bit, I guess. Now I know. <laughs> I just wanted to go through the things that I kind of learned from learning the, like researching the history of drills and basically it has been around since 1880s, I think it was 1889, I think two Australian inventors had come up with a drill. Cordless drill was manufactured first by Black & Decker in the 1960s, but I'm more excited about what I can use to better use my impact and 
make sure that I utilize its full capabilities. And so I'm going to go to Home Depot and I'm going to see if I could get a magnetic impact bit. seen the unboxing part of the video and I tried out a little bit how to use these bits and I think I was really keen on this one because it said the sleeve extends oops the sleeve extends here but I'm realizing because this one also extends I might just keep this one because it has more pieces. And the noticeable difference between these two, one, the magnet in here is way stronger than the magnet that's in here. So that's more of a sell. This piece alone is, I think, $6.97. All of this together is 10 bucks. The sell for this one is if you, it's a torsion bit, which basically means the neck here allows you to Hold on, let me read what I just freaking read. So it's designed to stand up to the rigors of heavy duty impact driving. So instead of it um, breaking off or this tension just being too hard and rigid, it'll bend with it. They flex rather than break. That's the word from the exchangeablade.com website that I found the information from. So, so I got a piece of wood here. And a lot of these demonstration videos, they just like drill down, which is still good to visually see, but it's like almost never that I'm drilling into something like this. I'm always drilling sideways. So skinny long screw and this one. We'll try this guy. impact bit and I'm going to See if I can get better use of the extension sleeve by drilling a pilot hole first and then screwing the screw or dr drilling the screw, whatever. And I don't know if it's just me, but I keep going this way with this screw. I mean, with this drill. Perfect. So what did we learn today? I think that there's an age old question online about which is better, the drill driver or the regular impact drill. And I think what it comes down to is just a matter of preference. And in my opinion, I feel like they're so similar to one another that I don't think that I need both, at least at this time where I'm carrying 
everything on my shoulders and it just doesn't make sense to have two drills when they both pretty much do the same thing yeah i i'm still like on the fence about whether i need it right now or whether i should go return it but i don't know i guess i anticipated like okay this extension sleeve i could just put a screw on there and i could just drill straight into the vertical wall and i don't have to have a pilot hole but that's obviously not the case we found out that's gonna be about it for this week's uh learn with me i hope you learned something about the power drill most people already know how to use it and all of that but i'm still a beginner in this and sometimes i feel like there's i just don't know everything about the drill like there could be so many things that i could have i could use for it and i don't even know because i don't know how to 100 percent use it so it's always good to kind of step back and learn the foundation even if you know even if you think you know everything so hopefully this video is kind of useful to somebody maybe not but i came out learning about something learning some things about the drill so i'm happy with it so if you're interested subscribe and i will be posting another learn with me video in two weeks